What is up, YouTube? A9 here, and welcome to, um, well, first video on my second channel. Um, haven't quite decided on the name for it yet, but the working title is A9 Makes Stuff, because that's what I'll be doing. I'll be making things. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, for, this channel is just basically a bunch of projects that aren't video game related, um, so right now we're going to be uh, kind of inspired by the Fallout TV show and something I kind of wanted to build for a while is I'm going to make myself a Pip-Boy just so I can play Fallout on a Pip-Boy. Um, so we're going to be trying to get make a Pip-Boy that makes fa uh, make a Pip-Boy that plays Fallout 1 as well as some other features like I think I want to try and find a uh, small multimeter or something so I can uh, have a, a multimeter attached to it, a flashlight, camera, um, there's a really cheap thermal camera, uh, that works with the Raspberry Pi, so I think I might do that. Um, and yeah, so, for right now, it, because I'm not gonna bother trying to make the Pip-Boy until I can actually get Fallout running on the Raspberry Pi, so I've just got an old Raspberry Pi 3B Plus here. Um, I got a little screen, it's a little, uh, 380p or something? 480p screen so um and then i got a speaker because obviously i need a speaker and i got a little fan as well so speaker and fan just in case um it overheats a little bit um because i think it should be fine but just in case also something i love is this screen it came with a ds stylus I don't know how many people remember these things. So I don't think this is a capacitive touch screen. I think it's gonna be a pressure um, one, which is totally fine. I don't really expect to be using this for actual like um, anything important. Cause like it's a three and a half inch screen. Like when I'm touching it, my finger is like a 10th of the screen. <laughs> An eighth of the screen is my, is my finger. So like, you know. Um, it's not, so it's not really super useful, it's more just there for like, in case I need to click on something, or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get the Raspberry Pi turned on, and uh, we'll work on installing the screen, so I'll get the drivers downloaded, and then we'll see about getting Fallout to run. Alright, so I got the Raspberry Pi on, got the fan plugged in, um, and the biggest keyboard I have. I can't use that little keyboard because it's currently holding up the fan. Also, that fan is really loud, which is fine. It'll give the Pip Boy some ambience. But um, I'm gonna type in uh, that code right there, um, or that command line right there, and uh, hopefully that'll get the driver installed. So I'll be right back. All right, so I have this screen installed and running. Um, I ended up having to install an older image of Raspberry Pi with um, uh, with the drivers already installed because the drivers would not load on a newer OS for Raspberry Pi. So uh, there are some problems with that. Um, what this, the image I'm using seems to not allow me to rotate the screen. Um, I don't know why. I it's fine. Um, I originally planned on having that be the bottom of the screen so I don't have to deal with the power plug uh, being at the bottom I could put it on the top um, and also I'd still have access to the uh, HDMI but that doesn't matter because I can't use the HDMI and the screen at the same time anyways um, it does make it slightly annoying that I don't have uh, access to the Ethernet cable on it either when it'll be attached to my arm Unless I do a uh, extension, because uh, I originally had it planned that it would come out of the back of my arm towards the elbow, if I ever wanted to hook this thing up to Ethernet. But it's fine. I can just get a dongle and um, just run it. And then for the power plug, I'm just gonna get a 90 degree elbow one. Um, and I can always get a. Uh, for the headphone jack, I can just get an extension cable for that as well, if I ever decide to use it. Um, but I think it's time to get DOSBox installed on this thing um, and try and figure out how to run Fallout. So I'll be right back. 
All right, so I got Fallout running. It's, uh, and please wait, but it's running. So, uh, I'll cut back when, uh, it finishes loading. All right, there we go. It is finished loading. So, uh, let's create a new game. It's a, it's slow, but it, it's fine. It's not like I'm actually going to be playing on this. This is more for the, just being fun. Is this, um... I think I might need to change the resolution of this. Um, because I think it's slightly off screen. Uh, but we'll just do a test and take this guy to start with. Alright, just skip that. Probably some all, also some optimization settings that I need to do and work on to get this thing to run properly that I'll have to look into. Because I might be like overstressing the Pi or just um, with the DOS box emulation or... I mean, I, the screen is slow. I think the screen's got like a refresh rate of like 15 FPS or something. So it'll look like shit no matter what. <laughs> oh, oh, we got a picture. Uh, yeah, so it appears that I am kind of zoomed out just a little bit on the screen, so I'll have to fix that, but... Uh, I gotta remember how to play Classic Fallout. Go here. Woo, I'm walking! Real slowly. Okay, so, I've done a bit of work. Um, well, it's not really running any better, but I have figured out the full screen issue. Um, if I press Alt Enter, it'll full screen it, and that will allow us to see the whole HUD. Um, and as you can tell, sound works. It's actually very loud, so uh, probably should have hit uh, options first and changed that. But it's good to know the speaker does work. And then if I just load our test save here. I wonder which is louder, the speaker or the fan? There we go. And as you can see, the HUD is all there. Let's go to preferences and turn the game volume down just slightly. Thank you, Ron Perlman. And uh, I'll just give it a save just in case. Also, sorry about the rubber band there. The rubber band there is just holding on the uh, screen. Or not the screen, the um, fan. We'll just save over our test save here. All right, so I've also installed another game. And uh, let me know in the comments if you think you know what it is. I'll give you a hint, it can run on literally anything. So I figured why not make it run on a Pip-Boy as well. All right, that's right, it's uh, Doom obviously. And uh, as you can tell, it is not happy running on uh, the screen. <laughs> uh, but let's just go to a new game uh, we'll just go with that and uh, I'm obviously too young to die partly because I've actually never played Doom but as you can see the game runs um, I have no idea if this is at full speed or not uh, I'm gonna guess no but also it probably just has something to do with the fact that again this is a 
like a 15 hertz screen or something. Uh, so it's crap no matter what. <laughs> Um, but anyways, as we walk around here and just do nothing, because I don't remember actually anything about Original Doom, I haven't played it in a really long time. Uh, but in the next episode, I think what we're going to do is we're going to work on getting this thing hooked up to GPS and radio, because you need a map and a radio if you're going to have a pit boy, obviously. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.